Well, NASCAR fans got a surprise on Friday morning when the series announced that the Xfinity Series would be going exclusively to the CW starting in 2025, and NASCAR fans immediately, frantically started searching around their cable guide to see if they got the CW. Don't worry, you more than likely do unless you have, like, FUBU or maybe Hulu TV. Regardless, the Xfinity Series is headed to the CW on a seven-year contract from 2025 through 2031. You know, the home of Farmer Wants a Wife, Live Golf, Vampire Diaries, and all of those obscure superhero shows. I think they even did a remake of Walker, Texas Ranger and just called it Walker, which I'm not sure if that has enough brand equity to do that, but they did it regardless, and now they also have the NASCAR Xfinity Series. Starting in 2025, they'll start carrying ACC football this fall in 2023, and the CW appears to just be getting into the sports realm, which is not a bad thing, especially not bad for the NASCAR Xfinity Series, as the CW will be paying them $115 million per year, around there, through the life of the contract, which is really good, and unfortunately we don't have any historical data on that because forever, or at least recently, over the last two major contracts in NASCAR media rights, the NASCAR Xfinity Series and NASCAR Cup Series have been bundled together in both their deals with Fox and NBC, as well as the ESPN one before that. So we've never really seen what a standalone Xfinity contract would look like. So $115 million is apparently where they're at. And in comparison, Formula One is $75 million a year for ESPN. So I'll just say that the Xfinity Series carries a little bit more weight because they do at times tend to outdraw Formula One. Obviously, there's some other things that go into that as well. But NASCAR will handle all of the production for the broadcast through their new NASCAR production studio in Concord, which is good because hopefully that means we get the international broadcast graphics, which would be a huge plus over the ones that NBC and Fox currently use, which feel like they have just been left in 2008, which is where they belong. Outside of that, that means we do have to use NASCAR Productions media personalities, which unfortunately means that Mamba Smith, Dylan Smith, is more than likely going to be on the broadcast, which is really unfortunate because at some point you have to be objective, and that guy has never been objective about NASCAR in his life. I understand supporting your employer, but sheesh. Every now and then you need a Kyle Petty in there to mix things up a little bit. But the good news is that means we maybe get to use Alan Kavana again, which would be awesome because he should never have been let go from Fox in favor of... Uh, Regan Smith and his um, what Regan Smith does. So regardless, NASCAR is headed to the CW, at least on Xfinity. And I saw some fans, especially in my TikTok comments and then on Reddit, saying that this is disastrous for NASCAR. This undermines NASCAR's product. It makes NASCAR look cheap. It's a step above PBS, which I'm not sure that person even understands what PBS is. Honestly, it's a really good move. The CW is in 99% of American households. If you have cable, you get the CW. If you have a digital antenna, you get the CW. There's no barrier of entry in terms of subscription cost to get there. Everybody was worried about Xfinity going strictly to streaming. Oh, it's another thing I have to pay for. It's behind a paywall. Spoiler alert, cable is behind a paywall, but nobody seems to understand that concept. But now the Xfinity series is on OTA, over the air. Everybody can access it, which is phenomenal. It's in more homes than USA and FS1 are. That's huge for this series as they look to sell sponsorship for all these cars and for the series in general, if we're being completely honest. Just because it's on the CW doesn't undermine the fact that it's free to millions of more people than it was before. Sure, the CW isn't CBS, ABC, NBC, or Fox, but at the same time, it's still a major network. It's a step above WGN, so I don't know why you guys are complaining. At the same time, though, Everybody that's saying that this is disastrous just doesn't understand, like I said, how beneficial this is for people that don't currently have cable. I will say this, though, the CBS or the CW is owned by Nexstar, and it just sounds like a knockoff version of Roystar, which sounds like a knockoff version of Nexstar. So if you're going to start a media company, don't put Star at the end of it. Obviously, there used to be Star 64, the WB, now the CW. There's a whole lot of things going on in this realm, but. The NASCAR Xfinity Series is headed off to the CW. And like I said, not a bad thing. I'm really interested to see who they get from a broadcast standpoint, who their booth is, who their pit reporters are, how they handle that. Hopefully they treat it better than Fox has. And honestly, the biggest plus out of all of this means that there's going to be less NASCAR on Fox starting in 2025, which is definitely a good thing because Fox has completely thrown in the towel. They've given up. They don't even look like they want to do this anymore, which is super unfortunate, right? They just look like a prize fighter that's been like, you know what? 
fuck it, we're just gonna throw the towel in here and, and call it a day. So, I haven't seen anybody give up on something like Na or like Fox has given up on NASCAR since, I don't know, TCU gave up in the national championship game against Georgia and just threw in the towel and said, just continue to beat us, we have nothing else to give. And that's what Fox has essentially done with a lot of their NASCAR programming, Xfinity and definitely the Truck Series. They don't care about the Truck Series at all. But the good news is, is they're moving over to the CW, which they're going to put effort behind this, or at least they're going to want to, because they're spending $115 million. They want a quality product out there. NASCAR Productions, of course, wants to present the sport in the best way possible. Hopefully, hopefully they don't carry on the same Fox <laughs> stupid redneck shtick that they do now. If you saw Clint Boyer on the SRX broadcast this past week um, from the Motor Mile in Virginia, you saw a very normal, laid-back Clint Boyer, and you're probably thinking, is that the same guy I see on Sundays during the Cup Series races on Fox? And it's the same person. It's not a clone. They didn't clone him like that Netflix movie, they cloned Tyrone. It's still Clint Boyer. It, but he's a completely different person because he's not Foxified, and Fox loves to turn, like, every commenter into, like, a caricature of, them, of themselves. And that doesn't work. So hopefully the CAW doesn't do that. Hopefully NASCAR learned their lesson and try to present everything how NBC does it, minus Jeff Burton up there just being clueless the entire time. So, the Xfinity Series is headed to the CW. Very excited about that. It's on way more homes than what they have now currently with their Fox and NBC setup with USA and FS1 as well. The biggest question now is what happens with the media rights for the NASCAR Cup Series and the Truck Series going forward. Obviously with the Cup Series, it certainly seems like the first half is going to Fox once again, the second half going to NBC once again, and then a six race section in the summer that will go to a stream partner, more than likely Amazon. What happens with the Truck Series though is still very much up in the air. Hopefully they don't go back to Fox on a full-time basis. I feel like they definitely will. And it's really unfortunate because this weekend's a perfect example of how Fox just doesn't care anymore. The Truck Series is headed to their playoff cutoff race on Saturday night at Richmond, and it's a big race, right? You would think that showing the qualifying session and the practice session would be pretty pertinent because, again, championship implications here. No, nothing. Not even on the streaming option, which is just so unfortunate for a championship and for a battle that fans, at least some of them, are, you know, engrossed in and, and, and captivated by. So hopefully the things change there and we get a better media partner for the truck series because they deserve so much more than what they're getting right now out of a remote booth from charlotte for fox and then they completely miss everything to just some of the worst production value you've ever seen terrible broadcast graphics cameramen that are just looking all over the place and a producer that hasn't really evolved since 2003 if we're being honest so Hopefully the Cup Series as well, um, part of their stipulation, if they do another Fox deal, which it seems like they are, they have to catch up with the times a little bit, revamp their booth, and no offense to Artie Kempner at Fox as a producer, probably needs to go because the times have passed him by. But we're here to talk about the CW though, excited to see how it goes. Um, obviously they're getting into the sports space now, they have Live Golf, which obviously that's paid programming, Live paid them to do that. Now they have ACC football, they have NASCAR Cindy Series, they did the 100 Days to Indy for IndyCar. CW's on the come up. It's a little bit like when ESPN started out and they put NASCAR on because they needed live sports rights and NASCAR was growing and they grew with ESPN. This feels a little bit like that with the CW. CW's growing, they need live sports rights, they know that's sort of where the future is in terms of having people tune into what you're putting on. And the NASCAR Xfinity Series is the perfect opportunity for that. So, excited to see how this goes. Excited to see what happens with the Cup and Truck Series broadcast rights as well. So, like and subscribe to the channel. Follow me on TikTok at BreakHard. Instagram, Threads, and Twitter at BreakHardBlog.